What's going on, you guys? We are back with another figure review video. It's your boy, Kaiser the Don, and today we are hopping into a special edition of the Beast Deities Kong Studio Super Saiyan 3 Rose Transparent Hair Variant. Um, I'm pretty excited to have this figure uh, with me today. Um, as soon as I saw the photos leaked of this guy, I was like, yo, there's there's no way they're they're coming at us like that but lo and behold <laughs> they uh reveal ju just like always um when they have like pre-orders going out they give us you know that shake and bake where they post you know that one rare figure to where they're not going to be doing pre-orders for it. they're only going to make you know a certain amount of these figures and once they're gone they're gone so um, for anybody wondering, this version of this uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Black Rose, he was not available for pre-order. Uh, pre but I will say that once the other pre-order items went up, he also went up with them. He's just uh, like a buy it now. He, he's not like a part of the second payment, um, payment uh, plan for the pre-order people. We're going to just be taking a look at this figure mainly. Um, I have the other video uh, of the regular version of this uh, Super Saiyan 3 powered up Goku Black. So if you want to check that one out, if you're not a fan of the transparent hair, then that's why I bring that up. Uh, if you want to go check out that video. But like I said, I am super hype about this guy. For one, I've never owned a transparent um, figure, you know, like a transparent hair piece figure of the DB series. I know they came out with that. What was it? Super Saiyan 3 Kaioken, um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku a few months ago with like the Vegito pre-order releases. And I never had a chance to get my hands on that one um, cause I had already pre-ordered the Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. So, um, I was pretty content with that one, but I was like, dang, I probably should have got the transparent hair Goku, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, once I saw that this guy was going up, I was like, yeah, I got to get my hands on that. Um, and I guess this is basically symbolizing the powered up version, um, of Goku Black. Once he goes full power, this is kind of like that aura effect that's being put on his body. Because there is a version of Goku Black with like the SH figure arts. And I guess with their variant, uh, they kind of have like that aura esque uh, type power uh, color, you know, that's like applied to the figure itself. So that's what I'm guessing um, what this is as to why this variant is purple. Um, you'll notice, we'll get into the details and everything in a little bit, but you'll notice the main difference about this figure is that he is purple all around. Um, of course, though, we got to take a look at the boxes real quick. Um, the Beast Deity boxes, this is, what, 34? Yeah, 34. So um, it's the same one as last time. Sebek, the Crocodile God. Um, I already gave you guys the rundown about Beast Deities and all copyright switch over from Kong Studios. You got the hair coming in this box, main body in this box, and the face place in this box. Um, arm, or not arms. Um, all the different hands and stuff will come in the same box as the body box. And they'll just come like kind of folded behind it. Um, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the hands. I know in my last video, I didn't really go too deep into like details as far as taking the hands out the bags and stuff. But as you can see, he has, I think, seven pairs of hands. My neighbors are going crazy. I was like, what the hell? Um, I think he comes with seven pairs of hands. You got the fighting technique and then the open hand with the time ring. And then you got the actual pointy hand you use this one to uh let me see got the energy effect where's the hole at so pointy hand you just put the energy ball again this came with the uh accessory kit let me 
Let's see. I got these other hands. Chilling in this faceplate box. Let me take these out real quick. So with the faceplates, just like the other one, got the straight face. He's getting punched in the face by Gogeta. And then you have the powered up face. As you can see, I love the fact that they kind of like made this kind of like a purplish, reddish flame on this face mask. It looks amazing, dude. Like you could tell they really did that uh, to kind of like blend in with the hair and stuff. And I, I love it, man. That That is just amazing. Um, same thing though, um, you know, you take this face mask off first, apply the face plate, put the hair piece on first or put the hair piece on second and then you put the face plate on so everything is flush and the hair is not, um, bumping into that, uh, that tall piece. Cause that's what I kept bumping into the first time when I was changing out his face. I'll put it to the side. I'll change out the face towards the end. Um, but we're going to hop into the articulation real quick. I don't want to take too, too long on this video. Let me see. Put all this back up. But, let me see. Take that out too. All right, so starting about the articulation. Of course, you have the hair. Um, what is that little piece of something? Hold on. That yeah, looks like a piece of plastic. Yeah, okay. So you got the hair. Um, it's articulated at two points. One is right here. And then the other one is right there. You kind of see it in between. It's twisting on this last segment so you have two points of articulation within the hair um pretty neat um because i feel like the hair just flows pretty easily as far as this figure um i didn't have too many problems like turning it around like i did with the other figure um yeah I, I i love this translucent hair i don't know what everybody was talking about i guess Everybody assumed that it wasn't going to look good. And then, you know, once you get it in hand, it's like, oh, oh, shit. You know, it <laughs> kind of looks hard. You know what I mean? So um, I know not every one of them is going to look hard. But this one in particular, you know, of course, for Goku Black, this this looks just absolutely amazing um, with the translucent hair. I, I love that they came out with this version. But. Same as the other figure, he has a double neck peg joint. So this one, he actually looks up. Okay. So the hair isn't hindering him as much as it did on the other figure. He he can actually look up a little bit. Cause that's like down here is like his regular pose. So he can look up a little bit on this one. So he can look up, he can look down. Okay. And his face plate isn't affected that much on this one so damn okay this one as far as like the head wise like it i don't know it just moves a, a, a lot smoother i guess um i'm not having too many issues as far as gaps and stuff but a neck peg um pretty versatile you can look left look right your left your right whatever then we got the chest area butterfly joints the joints do come out towards the back. As you can see. And he has good arm range as far as crossing his arms. So then he has the bicep swivel. Elbow joints. Pretty much the same figure in my other video, just with this uh, purplish uh, shade that's like pretty much covering the whole body and like this aura effect. You got the wrist. They, uh, I will admit, Beast Deities, I didn't say it in my other video, but they have 
stepped up as far as their hand pieces and their neck and head, uh, head pegs as far as the um, as far as like how easy it is to, to pop the piece on and, and whatnot they definitely upgraded their pieces with that um, you got the ab crunch again just like the other figure that ab crunch is going to help this figure stand by itself if you don't have too many um, figure stands you got this soft under part gi his shirt ripped up soft material and 3.0 body legs can do the splits see the 3.0 has the knees and gets that ankle pivot and then the toe so overall like i said main difference this guy is purple all around um same tail brown tail in the back Purple all around. Did very good with the uh, with the paint job because, like I said, if this is the powered up version, like that's supposed to be like the aura and everything, they they did an amazing job. Um, then the translucent hair pretty much just like tops it all off to to me in, in my personal opinion. I love how the translucent hair looks. Um, now I will say. Same thing with this figure. You can switch out this hair with that body. Um, if you want to have, you know, a translucent Super Saiyan 3 Goku Black that isn't full power yet, you know, all of these heads can basically be interchanged with each other. That's one thing I do like um, about this figure. And really just like the whole lot of the figures, you know, you can basically change around all the heads. You can apply all the face places to each other. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy. We'll go ahead and put that on there. So y'all can see the finger. So, I'm standing. Pointing at you. About to blast you. Then, let's do this faceplate real quick. I don't think I've done it with this figure. Yeah, like I said, we'll take this piece off, the face mask. We'll slide this piece on. Now, like I was saying in my other video, price-wise, um, they are still available online at 5K Toys. They even still have the translucent still available online so if you want this guy you know maybe you change your mind after you saw this video whatnot hey he he's available so i'm telling you this is your chance to go get him don't don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> um so just keep that in mind let me see yeah facebook and then the hair piece so just keep that in mind i'm letting you guys know right now He's still available. Let's stick this on. Yeah. Bow. That man looking hard. That man looking hard. And I will let you guys know, I know I'm going to upgrade the whole setup as far as you know, I, I might not have the white background and all that, but hey, I'm going to get upgrade with the laptop, um, bring some better quality content to you guys in soon time. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about this guy. Um, let me know if you're a fan of the translucent hair or if you prefer the regular hair. Um, I know everybody has their preferences and whatnot. Once this guy hits eBay, like I said, just know they're going up there to the 200s, the 180s, the 220s. Just just be prepared. So, like I said, he's still available on 5K Toys. So, 
um, let me know too if, if you purchased it, this guy, and if you think the same opinions as, as me. But without further ado, it's your boy Kaiser Don signing out. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next figure review video. Peace.